shadows after this. It is now 17 minutes after the hour. Well, the music alone was enough to raise goosebumps. It was a soap opera of a different kind, where skeletons in the closet were really likely to be real. Dark Shadows terrified audiences from 1966 to 1971. And it does so even now in reruns. It told the story of a haunted hero whose curse allowed him never to love. Hopefully we have a clip of Barnabas. Oh, at last. Long last I'm safe. I'm safe. Oh, Barnabas. <laughs> You're supposed to be scared. Let me tell you what's going on. This weekend there will be a Dark Shadows Festival in Newark, New Jersey to kick off the return of the serial on WNYC. It's a public television station owned by New York City. Three cast members joining us this morning. They're the ones who are still laughing to reminisce and update their careers. Now Jonathan Freed, the vampire Barnabas. He's now touring in a revival of Arsenic and Old Lace. Catherine Lee Scott played Maggie Evans. And this fall she will appear on the premiere of the ABC series hotel yes. and Lewis Edmonds he was Roger Collins then yes that's right folks he's Langley Wallingford of all my children now <laughs> good morning good Barnabas morning. and Josette together again <laughs> without fangs <laughs> memory plays funny tricks mm. I really remember it as having more werewolves and more vampires and and something more of a Frankenstein-like character to it, but it really wasn't yeah. that way at all. Well, we oh. did later on, you yes. know. Yes, but it started as a gothic romance and uh, sort of a Jane Eyre story. With the yeah. bustier. <laughs> I think the movie, uh, well, the movie versions were a bit more in the grotesque uh, idea. I mean, they had many more vampires. I think everybody became a vampire in the movie before it was through. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but, um, no, we started off, I guess we did, I was the first sort of monster, I suppose. Uh, we did, they'd had ghosts before I came Yes, on. we dipped into the supernatural about three months sure. into the start of the show. Then we had the vampire, then yes. we had a werewolf, played by David Selby. Yes. Mm -hmm. Who is uh, now on Falcon Chris. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. right, right. Mm -hmm. But they would use different stories. I mean, it seems to me there was a Jane Eyre story. Yes. And, you know, famous classic gothic tales that we would sort of Oh, use. we borrowed from Mary Walter Shelley down. and Henry James and the we Bible. Worked, we worked them all. <laughs> I think that's why yes. we, we, we ran out of stories after a while. Yeah. You know, we really we were, reworked all of the classics. Ran out of yeah. blood. You were on the air for, what, four years? Is yes, that? it started June 27th, 1966. Five and it went years. To, Five uh, and a half years. No, yeah. it, it went off the air in spring of 71. I was on for four. Yeah. You so were on for four. Yeah. And, and your character, the vampire, really made it oh, yes. a cult. What Jonathan yes. did with that character, <laughs> making a vulnerable vampire. A know. lovable vampire. Yes. <laughs> I think you can imagine a lovable vampire. Yes. Right? I wish they had the clip of me and Jonathan oh, over yes. the beer. That was too, and he saw it in <laughs> South America in Spanish. Spanish. <laughs> it was, was to die. Spanish. It was better in Spanish than it was in English. My name was sounded better in Spanish. It was Barnabas yeah. in Spanish, you see. <laughs> it had all that quality about it. But this show, for a daytime soap 20 years ago, had special effects. Oh, yes. I mean, we we uh, we had all of that. We worked in promo key, and and uh, well, we we used to call it the bat gag. Whenever I got bitten, it was usually the bat hovering over my bed <laughs> that victimized me. <laughs> Lewis, you work for uh, on an ABC soap right now. All my children. I'm exclusively ABC. <laughs> <laughs> Would you? This almost should have been titled One Life to Live, shouldn't it? Well, <laughs> <laughs> do you think that there could ever be a turn like this in daytime? where a kind of dark shadows could possibly be successful once again? I don't know. I don't think you could top this, really. Um, usually, the second time around, you get sort of a, 
a different point of view, but it's a watered-down attempt. Or, uh, even, even when they make movies again, Son of Rocco and all that business, it's never like the first, you know. Yeah. I think leave it alone and go to something yes. else. Yes. Let us have our little niche, you see, but don't, don't, don't try to... For one thing, I've gotten too fat on the cheeks. You can't have a fat vampire. <laughs> so that just wouldn't work. So, no, I, like Lewis, I, I, uh, I have certainly other things that I'm into. My one-man yeah. show, uh, Fools and Fiends, which is sort of a spin-off of Dark Shadows. I please my audience with ghoulish tales, but it's, it's, a, it's a, I'm a storyteller now. My at my re old age, and I love doing it. And a beautiful storyteller he is. Yeah, it's not it's only lovely. ghoulish tales. You yeah. must. Oh yes. Oh, yes. The, the lovely little New Yorker stories that yes. you that you read at the YMHA. The and all my children. All and good luck at hotel. Thank you. you want me a show? Good Thank luck you. to all of you. Thank it's you. nice to have you back. It's Thank you. Thank you.